So you might have seen the headline that XRP, ADA, and Shiba have gotten delisted from OKX. That is not true, by the way. They have delisted major pairs, but they have not delisted those coins. They would be suicide to delist those coins. But that's actually a good thing because all they delisted were the Ethereum pairs and the Bitcoin pairs for those specific coins. And why is that good? It's because we actually need those delistings to actually slowly decouple from Bitcoin. See, like the thing is to really decouple from Bitcoin, we can't actually have BTC pairs that people trade in and out of. Because if we only have BTC pairs or we mainly have BTC pairs that people trade in and out of, Bitcoin is always going to be in control of the entire market because it'll be the central index coin. By getting people to actually just directly use USDC or USDT or possibly just USD, you give them more independence and freedom from Bitcoin price movements. One of the main reasons that Bitcoin ended up being the index coin is because in the beginning, you can't really, you couldn't use USD, USDT or USDC. I mean, those two didn't exist to buy crypto. And um, because you had to buy Bitcoin to buy crypto, the price of Bitcoin then dictated the price of the rest of the crypto. And that's basically lasted up until the current uh, moment. But the thing is, the more we actually have, uh, the less we have of people buying, BT, uh, buying um, other cryptos, BTC, the less tether BTC has on the other coins. And we definitely need the crypto uh, market to decouple from BTC and Ethereum if it was ever tethered to Ethereum. I mean, the ERC-20 coins, because of the DEXs, they'll never really be free of Ethereum. But like, especially for BTC, if we want them to decouple from BTC, and trust me, we need them to decouple from BTC sooner or later. Um, if you ever want that to actually happen, you definitely need to delist these pairs so people will be forced to use USDT, USDC, or USD. So like everything will be basically um, based on USD price. And USD price isn't really going to have too much effect on the price of the other coins because USD is obviously stable. It's always going to be a dollar. It's kind of like just the anchor coin. And, uh, you know, USD doesn't really go up or down. It, it'll just be more like the stock market, which where each individual stock doesn't completely follow how the market moves. For instance, Chipotle today went way up despite the market going way down. And in crypto, it's a lot rarer to actually have that. I mean, it like obviously stocks are based on earnings reports and stuff and crypto doesn't have that. But if we actually get decouplement, I mean, like, Cryptos are going to be moving upon their own news rather than just if Bitcoin is going up or down. So I regard this as very, very good news. And another significant clue to the fact that eventually, yes, we are going to decouple from Ethereum or Bitcoin. And that's something the industry desperately needs. Each individual project should survive or die on its own merit, not because whether Bitcoin is going up or down. So I do regard that as actually really, really good news for crypto. And I actually hope other big exchanges will actually follow suit in the future. I mean, they'll only really follow suit if the uh, trading pairs volume goes down. And the fact that the trading pair volume has gone down on B B Bitcoin and Ethereum is actually good news. That means more people and more percentage of people are using USDT and USDC to directly buy other coins. And that just gives me even more hope, uh, more and more hope that USDT and USDC are going to be the staple for buying in and out of the crypto market and not Bitcoin or Ethereum, giving us an even bigger chance to decouple from them. So I'm actually quite happy with that news. And another good piece of news, um, the Kraken distributors have actually already gotten their money from Mt. Gox. Now that's the first batch. Kraken just got a third batch. The second batch is Bitstamp, which is also about $3 billion, and that will be starting to distribute tomorrow. The third batch, will be probably next week. Kraken just got the third batch. So maybe by the beginning of August, we'll have all the distributions being done. Now, the thing is like the first batch of Kraken, uh, about $3.2 billion, they've gotten that Bitcoin, but they have not immediately sold. And that is very, very important because a lot of people thought they were going to immediately sell when they got their batch of coins. And that has not been true at all. They are holding. Yes, there's been a couple of sales here and there, obviously, but the vast majority of the holders are actually holding and they're not dumping. That means they're either going to dump OTC later, which will slowly affect the price, or they're waiting for this 
Bitcoin conference weekend to be over and then they're going to dump. Because we all know there's going to be a trend, uh, there's going to be probably a spy the rumor, sell the news. However, Cynthia Loomis is actually writing legislation to make crypto a strategic reserve currency and that could definitely boost up the market some more. So maybe they're waiting for the market to hit a local top before they start dumping. Traders are aiming at 72K right now. And I think it's not impossible that we hit that. I don't know if it's likely or not, but it's not impossible that we hit that. If Trump or J.D. Vance say like, hey, we're going to make Bitcoin a strategic reserve currency, suddenly pumps it by a couple thousand points and then dumps massively right afterward after the conference because of buy the rumors, sell the news. So maybe they're actually waiting for a slightly higher price before they dump. Not all of them are going to dump. Only about 20% said they were actually going to dump. But some of those holding companies will probably take advantage of the situation and cash out on some profits if that uh, massive pump happens because of the conference. And I do think they are waiting for a possibility like that to possibly make more money. I mean, look at the German government. They dumped at 54,000. Now we're at 67,000. They don't really want to miss that kind of opportunity. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.